guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I am going to be talking about my hair again guys and I wanted to basically just have a place where people can come if they are going through this problem that I am still going through you guys and I wanted to update you guys to tell you I'm still going through it that one protein ain't do it forever okay so let's just get right into this video I bet you guys are looking at my hair and you're like girl you your curls look good they look juicy no no, they do not. Okay, they do. They look good. But they don't feel good and they are not bouncing back. The elasticity in my hair is to shit. Okay? <laughs> like, like if I pull on this. Okay, yeah, it bounces back. But you see, it ain't bouncing back, bouncing back. So, I just know my hair, y'all. I just know my hair. And my hair is still not a hundred percent and this is what happened like, I already told you guys kind of what happened but now that I'm reading a lot of stuff this emotion happened and no it has nothing to do with me straightening my hair that has nothing to do well a little bit actually a little bit to do with me straightening my hair but it's not heat damage it is moisture overload and when I say it did have something with me straightening my hair because when you do straighten your hair that is breaking down the proteins in your hair and yeah sis I already wasn't using proteins before that so that's kind of the situation that happened there and right after I did that as you guys know I deep condition overnight so uh, what really 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 causes moisture overload is first of all washing your hair a lot and not letting your hair dry like your hair has to dry really really quickly and you can't keep necessarily keep your hair wet for a long period of time so what I did was I literally put the deep conditioner on put a bag over my head and slept in the most moisturizing deep conditioner which is the Mish Beauty deep conditioner I did do some research and basically when you do have moisture overload it takes a while for your hair to build all of that protein back up in your hair and as you guys know I I haven't been using proteins like the last time I did a protein treatment before the one I did was literally years ago like before I started my natural hair journey I've never done it after I got a diva cut I've never done a protein treatment and I rarely use deep conditioners with protein in it so <sighs> I fucked myself basically is what I'm saying um and if you are gonna wash your hair frequently like I do every three to four days you have to use protein because you're washing your hair your hair is wet a lot and your hair needs protein needs moisture and protein moisture protein moisture protein okay I don't care if you're low porosity high porosity black white Asian I don't care you need to make sure your hair has protein, okay? And that is what I took for granted. I want you guys to take this as a learning experience. All of us make mistakes. I am still, I mean, it's a journey. We we are all in this journey. And y'all, I've never heard of moisture overload. Like, that's just, it just, it just sounds stupid, don't it? Like, that sounds stupid, moisture overload. Like, what? We all want moisture. We want that moisture. Juice me up, sis. Rain down on me. Let, 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 let the moisture fall on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's how we feel as naturals. But honestly, sis, uh, we got to do better. Um, and I got to do better with educating you guys and learning more about other aspects of natural hair other than, like, low porosity. And that's it. And we need moisture. And that's it. Like, I'm kind of frustrated with myself. I know, I know, I know I'm not hard on myself right now. Like, I know we're going to get this back, right? But right now, we ain't looking too hot. It's not bad. Like, I, y'all, I know my hair got bad. I know my hair looks good. I know it's probably going to dry. Beautiful. Oh, I did a middle part, too, by the way. Y'all like it. It's cute. I don't know. Um, my little bald spot grew back. Let me show y'all. Can I show y'all? I don't want to mess up my hair right here, but my bald spot did grow back. After I experienced this, I went and Googled and YouTube over moisturizing your hair or hydro fatigue. And all these videos came up. And I was like, where have these videos been? It's like, yeah, they've been here. That's just not something you've researched. Because you never felt like over-moisturizing your hair was a thing. But sis, it's a thing. And it will happen to you if you do what I did. Okay? Do not decondition overnight. Do not do it. Do not. Do not do it. I don't care what your situation. I don't care how lazy you are. And you don't want to wash it out. I don't care how damaged your hair may be in that moment. Do not sleep in your deep conditioner sis i'm just i listen you don't want to go through this because this is some bs like it's really some bs it's nothing you can really do about it except continue to help build your hair back up and add that protein as needed and moisture as needed so also if you are like me and you wash your hair pretty frequent you must incorporate some protein in your hair i'm sorry but like 
that's just the thing if you wash your hair every three or four days you need to start doing protein and moisture and protein and just interchanging those every other week or every time you deep condition or whatever you might be doing i ain't saying doing a protein treatment but adding a deep conditioner has some protein in it and a lot of you guys told me that the ors mayonnaise one is really good on my other video so i'm gonna go get that one and see if i can start incorporating that and you guys might be like, how are you very sure that this is moisture overload? Well, because I don't have any moisturizer on my hair right now. Uh, mm. Like, it didn't even take long to do my hair. Like, there's symptoms. I know my hair. And let me tell you, it's moisture overload, sis. <laughs> so, um, we're definitely going to be getting this right. I know Jayla had a video. I watched her video. She she used a, um, a house pro, like a... a a food protein because she didn't have it. Uh, it was funny, but y'all watch a few people videos. But that's the only person I can kind of remember off the top of my head. But yeah, y'all, that's what we doing. Let me see if I can tell y'all anything else though. Oh, and y'all, it's so crazy because I used to always tell you guys make sure you're using deep conditioners with hydrolyzed protein. Like I'm gonna put if I can find that video of me talking about that, I'll link it. But it definitely says right here regularly balance moisturize with protein by using products with hydrolyzed protein and a lot of these shea moisture deep conditioners have hydrolyzed protein oh god I bit my tongue a lot of the um shea moisture deep conditioners have hydrolyzed protein but i ain't been really using my my um deep conditioners from shea moisture honey i'm going back to shea because my hair was super healthy with shea anyway my hair was my hair was really really good with shade. I need to start including those deep conditioners in my routine as well. Oh, and also when you are deep conditioning, y'all do what's on the packet. That should say three minutes. Use it for three minutes. If it say fifteen minutes, do it for fifteen minutes. If it say twenty minutes, do it for twenty minutes. That is what it's for. It's it's telling you the time limit so that you don't over moisturize your hair. And you guys, it's so crazy. We feel like we know what the hell we're doing. You don't know. We don't know, y'all. Like we don't know. Like as far as that goes, cause. Once you get to a point of no return, you don't know. Now, how to style a wash and go? Bitch, I got you. Okay, I got you. Products that are moisturizing, I got you. But when we start getting into protein, since I ain't got you yet, I got to learn. We, I'm learning. So, I don't know. I just wanted to tell you guys and, you know, let you guys know, let you guys kind of see my hair. Yes, it still looks good. But I think I'm going to put a lot of, like, sponsor content that I had with other brands and stuff to the side for a little bit just because I need to get the health of my hair right. And I don't feel like I can do a really great review if my hair is, you know, over moisturized at the moment. So, I hope you guys really like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Support your girl, you know. Um, I am going to have other content coming out for you guys that is going to be very interesting, okay? So, stay tuned. Just going through something. I just want to share. Because you guys know, I, I upload three times a week. So, it was definitely time to kind of just share an update on this. Because, I mean, my hair still look good, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like, it still look good. It's like, it's okay, you know, but it's not how my hair used to be. And I effed that up. So, <laughs> I have to try to see if I can get it back right. Um, So, I don't know. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.